my name is Magma. I'm from Wings, Massachusetts, and you are watching the Astute Controls Channel. My name is Kurt Wilson. I'm from Derry, New Hampshire, and I watch the Astute Forest Channel. I'm Sean. And I'm Barbara. And we're at the New Hampshire Grass Dregs today, and you're watching the Astute Taurus Channel. Hello and good evening. I am Jim your Stu Taurus. Welcome to Wednesday. We made it. Give yourselves a big hand. We've made it to hump day. It is the middle of the week. We're at the top of the heap, the top of the hill, and we're making our way towards the weekend. Congratulations, everybody, and welcome to Hump Day Cocktail Hour. Tonight, we're going to be mixing up a, uh, a pretty cool drink. I actually had it um, last Saturday. It was something new that I tried at a uh, a, a local um, tapest uh, bar and restaurant that um, Colleen and I discovered. And this here is the drink. It's called a Whiskey Smash. And uh, it was really, really good. Very, very tasty. And um, so we'll be mixing that up a little bit later. But uh, welcome, everybody, to the show. Like I said, it is um, today is May 3rd. Can you believe it? It's May already. Where has the time gone? But um, here we are. It's May and spring. And I was actually uh, on Down Under Cruisers this morning watching Sean, and he was complaining about how cold it's getting there in um, in Australia because it is um, it is their fall right now, and they'll be heading into winter soon. I think uh, June... June 21st, I think, which is our summer solstice. I think that's their winter solstice. But um, yeah, so I'm happy that it's uh, it's not winter here right now. And uh, we got a lot of summer stuff to enjoy um, in the spring. Um, we've got the Tiki Bar we're going to be opening up soon. And we'll be doing a live probably on a Friday night. Um, that's something we're planning on doing Um probably around Memorial Day-ish, somewhere in there. I think we're going to do our soft opening around Memorial Day. The weather here has been wet, so it hasn't been the the most perfect weather for uh, hanging outside at the Tiki Bar, but we'll definitely bring you guys that um, fairly soon, so don't, um, don't uh, fret. So let's go over to the chat. Let's say hi to some folks. So uh, Muhammad was here. How are you, my friend? Thanks for coming in. He was the first one in tonight. Law Jones is here. Good evening, Law. Thank you for coming in. Um, uh, Jen is here. from uh, Jen Cohen, how are you? Happy hump day to you, my friend. Everybody's saying hi. Chillin' Charlie is here. Hi, Charlie. Good evening to you, sir. I hope you have a mocktail ready for yourself tonight. And uh, Stephen Sheets is here. Hello, Stephen. I love that hat, by the way. Uh, you're looking mighty serious in that picture. You look good, though. You look good, sir. Looks good. Um, let's see. Who else is here? Um, Eddie Lugo from Eddie Lugo Studios. Yo, yo, yo. Brooklyn in the house, yo. Eddie's, um, Eddie had an announcement today. He's um, doing his very first group cruise coming in 2024. Um, maybe um, we can talk about that a little bit later. Um, let's see who else is here. Sean Heffernan. Where's my cocktail? Sean, I was actually hanging with him Saturday night, um, for his birthday. Um, but I ended up having that, uh, that smash, um, whiskey smash before we met up with him. It was the same night though. Um, let's see. Charlie says it's raining there too. Yeah. It's, it hasn't been the best weather here not yet i'm not complaining still better than winter um 
Let's see who else is here. Lone Cross uh, MTP Scott is here. How are you, Scott? It's good to see you. Hope you're starting to feel better as the days go by. And um, and Jen is here. She's got our first joke. Why do seagulls fly over the sea? Does anybody know? The answer, if they flew over the bay, they would be bagels. Ah, Right on, right on, Jen. I love it. My mother is here. I think she's ready for a cocktail. Um, Eddie is here, and he says, yes, sir. Um, Eddie, if you're willing, we'll have you come up a little bit after if you want to come up. Um, and you can tell us all about your group cruise. Um, let's see if they've... Oh, I already did that one. Viable's here. Viable Solutions, how are you? Thank you for dropping in. Um, everybody... <laughs> Eddie says, no, I'm hungry. That is a good one, too, Jen. I am still chuckling myself. That's fantastic. I love a good joke, especially corny jokes, dad jokes. I'm, uh, I'm in for that. So, so yeah, so um, we got our local piano player. He is in the studio tonight, and uh, he sounds good. How's everybody's week been going so far? Missed you guys this morning. Now, the signal, the signal was good, and now it sucks again. Golly, this just is frustrating. I apologize for the um, for the terrible signal. Hopefully, I don't freeze or I start lagging. Um, it was good a second ago. I don't I don't know what I need to do. I think it's where I live here in the in the country. Charlie says his week has been slow. My mom's saying, Dad says hi. Hello, Dad. How are you doing? Hope you're feeling okay. So my day was pretty good today. I had um, part of my job in fire prevention is um, we have to mold the young minds. I had about 120 third graders come in today in four groups, um, four groups of about 30 kids or so, give or take. And um, we went over the history of the fire service and uh, then we talked about the history of the actual fire department that I work for. Um, they watched the video. Um, and then they we took them out and um, we showed them some of the trucks. So I think the kids had a great day. Yeah, holy cow, right? Holy cow is right. There was a lot of kids there. We didn't do them all at one time. Uh, like I said, there, there was four groups of them in was give or take. There's a couple of groups with 40 and then some around 35-ish or so. So we had a good group of kids come in. It was the entire third grade for the town. Um, I think the entire third grade. I'm moldy. <laughs> a lot. You have moldy, moldy young minds. We were molding some minds. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's what I did today. Um, it was a great day. Kids are great. They're fun. They ask some of the corniest, goofiest questions ever. Um, some of them just have comments. Like, I knew a guy once, or my dad does this. Um, a lot of comments that didn't relate to anything. But that are kids that are. That is kids. I was looking at what Law just said with GR8, the great. Kids are great. And those are, uh, that is what kids are all about. They're a lot of fun. Um, we had a good group of them today. Um, and they were good sports. So that's what I did today. That's, and my week's been going fantastic. I wake up every morning and um, I uh, say a prayer and I have a few positive aspirations. I start my day out with PMA, and um, and then we get to it, and so far so good. But we've made it to Hump Day, and I hope you've all had a great uh, week so far. And um, let's see. So normally tomorrow at 6 a.m. will be our last um, our last stream for the week, um, but I think Friday 
I'm going to do another morning stream, but we'll be out on the road. We're going to be out walking. Um, last year, I did a lot of walking streams and um, on my phone while we're walking Molly and, and Sophie, the two dogs. So I think we're going to do that Friday morning. So look out for that. And it'll be right around six-ish, maybe a few minutes after. But um, I'll figure that out with Colleen. And um, and uh, could, because I can't handle both of the dogs and film myself together. So um, so hopefully she'll be coming with me. I'm sure she will. Um, Jen says, yay. Right on. Yeah, so I used to do them a lot. And John from JNN Travels, um, he... He was pretty much with us every day. Well, he was in the chat. And he's been kind of asking me, when are you going to start walking again? Will you, when will you start walking? And I really need the exercise. So I think Friday, we're going to start that. And who knows? I may get up Saturday morning and, and do another one. But let's just start slow. We'll start with Friday. So um, we'll be up tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. And then Friday morning, we're going to take it on the road and um, and do another morning stream right around 6. So. That should be good. Look as, look who is here. It's my good friend Eileen, Leany Perez. How are you, my friend? It's good to see you. Um, I miss Dan's. Um, I miss... <laughs> that's right, Jim. Ooh! Um, that's an inside joke uh, for you folks that are wondering what the heck Jim Woo is. But um, yeah, I miss Danny's um, stream today. I was busy with with all those young children that came to visit the firehouse. So, but uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll, I'll peek my head into the stream. Um, Dan Anderson's one of the, one of the great musicians that's out there on YouTube. And he does, um, he does just about a live stream every day, at least every weekday and sometime between one and two o'clock Eastern standard, I believe. Um, he's a great guitar player, and Leany is his moderator, and uh, she does a fantastic job. She's actually my moderator as well, which a lot of you guys are, so glad to have you all in here. Um, keep an eye out for trolls, if you guys don't mind. We had one come in um, on, uh, when was it? Was it yesterday? It may have been yesterday or Monday. Um, and I was so excited to see a new face. And then I started reading it. I put it up on the screen and yeah, it was a troll. So let's keep an eye out if you guys don't mind for them. Nasty trolls. But so let's do this. Are you guys ready? We're going to do this drink right here. This is called the Whiskey Smash. And I have, um, let's see, I have the um, recipe right here. This comes from actually the Cheesecake Factory. It's from their website. Um, but this is basically the same drink that, um, we had at the, um, at the tapas bar the other night. So drank is right. I eat trolls for midday snacks. Right on, Charlie. Thanks, buddy. Najuma Brown is here. Hi, Najuma. Good to see you. Well, that's Charlie. There we go. Najuma Brown is here. Hi, Najuma. Thank you for coming in. And speak of the rocking guitar player himself, Mr. Dan Anderson's in the house. How are you, my friend? Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it, Dan. Um, if you haven't checked out Dan, you guys got to go over to his channel and check him out. This guy jams. I'll tell you something right now. He makes me want to start the, the chipper up and just feed my guitars into it. Um... Not really, but he's he's awesome. You guys got to go over and check him out. He's a great, great uh, player, and he's a good friend of the channel. So, and Jen just put up his um, put up his uh, link. So, go on over and check him out. But all right, so don't forget, just because we're doing alcoholic drinks, it doesn't mean you have to. Um, we do do mocktails here as well, and um, you all can have the drink of your choices. It's, it's more about the fellowship than it is about the cocktail, but it is. Hump Day Cocktail Hour, we celebrate it every Wednesday evening um, just to kind of, you know, give us a break from the first two, three days of the work week. And then we'll slide into Friday night and uh, and get ready for the weekend. So this one is called the Whiskey Smash. And I'm going to make a little room here. 
All right, so we're going to start off with, uh, with a glass. Put some ice in it. Throwing ice all over the place. All right, so then we're going to put this into the cocktail shaker. And we're going to start the drink. So this calls for... Um, a little bourbon whiskey, which I guess they use um, Knob Creek, but I'm going to go with um, with this bourbon. This is called Penny Wheat. It's a Kentucky. Uh, it's actually finished and bottled in Cleveland, um, Cleveland, Ohio, believe it or not. And this one is aged um, uh, in a black cherry oak barrel. So. We'll try this out. Why not give it a try? As you can see, um, I haven't had much of this. <laughs> it's actually really good. So this one is um, Wheat Penny. Wheat Penny Bourbon. All right, so it calls for one and a quarter ounces. So we're going to do one and a half just because it simplifies it for me that goes in then this here is Aperol anybody ever heard of this this is an Italian orange liqueur um, Apertivo since 1919 but um, this is uh, like I said it's a it's Aperol and it's an Italian liqueur so the recipe here calls for a half an ounce half an ounce of Aperol then it calls for one ounce of simple syrup which um, sometimes I make my own but I bought this one this is the stirrings simple syrup so it calls for one ounce of simple syrup. The next thing they call it calls for um, fresh squeezed lemon juice, but um, I don't have any lemons, so we're going to use this. So it's not fresh, but it is real lemon juice, and it's about half an ounce of that. So we'll put some of that in. Then, half an ounce of passion fruit. Passion fruit juice. I have the Goya brand right here. So it calls for half, half an ounce of that. And then last but not least, it calls for a dash of bitters. And I just happen to have this uh, Angostura. This one is an orange bitters and it's, uh, it's an orange based drink. So we'll put a dash of that in there. A little dash of that. Then we're ready to go. So we're gonna shake this up. Get it all shaken, not stirred. And we'll put this into the glass. What a lovely color. And then the last thing we got, we have to garnish it if you look at the picture. Now that picture that you see there, that's the actual drink that I had at the bar the other night. I, I took a picture of it. So now we have a garnish. Put a little orange in there. And there you go. So it's it's similar in color. Um, I may have enhanced the color of that a little bit through editing. 
But here's the drink. And again, I apologize for the grainy signal. The signal was 100% perfect when I started. And of course, the beauty of, um, of real life sometimes doesn't work. So, But um, let's give it a try, okay? Here's to you guys. Happy hump day. Cheers. This is called the Whiskey Smash. So cheers to you all. That is so good. I wish you guys could taste it. Mr. Paul S. Vines, I saw you in here. That's one for you to try, sir. It's very good. It has, um, you can barely taste the whiskey in it. It's, um, it's very refreshing. I could, I think we're going to uh, put this on the menu in the tiki bar. It's a, tastes like a very good summer drink. Very good. Very good. So, all right, let's, so let's go back and see who I missed in the chat. Oh, I missed a whole bunch. Um, let's see. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Dan is unstoppable. Okay. Lini says mocktails. Charlie says he has water. Hey, good morning to you. I just saw you. Um, I saw you earlier. Would be earlier today for me, but it was last night for you. Good morning, Sean. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Scott says, uh, Ben, um, MIA, just out of sorts. He's been doing his thing. He's healing. Cruising is fun anytime. What is happening? I was, um, I was with you guys a little bit earlier in your live stream. It's good to see you, though. Thank you for coming in. Lini, thank you for uh, telling everybody to hit the uh, the like button. I appreciate that. Love you bunches, my friend. Um, everyone's saying hi. Dan says, um, thanks so much, my friend. <laughs> You're welcome. So are you, my brother. Um, Charlie says he used to drink bourbon. Let's see. I want to catch up. Lini loves bourbon. Lini loves bourbon. I don't drink anymore, though. Yeah, bourbon is my thing. Bourbon and, and whiskey or scotch. It's all whiskey. But um, cruising scene is here. Hi, guys. How are you? Thank you for coming in. Checking in with everybody. Of course, uh, Paul S. Vines is here. PSV Odyssey. And I always give a shout out to our good friend, Paul. Because Paul is, um, he's out there supporting all of us content creators. Check him out every evening. He does a list of who's going to be streaming the next day. So if you go to PSV Odyssey um, Facebook page, um, you'll get the full lineup of those who are going live the next day. So everybody is saying hello, hello. Slipping through this quickly. Hey, Pete. Scratch and Pete is here. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. I saw Pete earlier today, too. We were in Tuber Chat. Um, Pete is one of the mods over there for Kevin, and um, he does a great job over there. So thanks for coming in, Pete. I appreciate you, my friend. Um, let's see. Everybody's still saying hi, hi, hi. <laughs> shake, 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 Charlie. Um Uh, Hefty says, I'll have one of those. Sean, you know where I live. Come on over. I, it'd be great to have you on right here live in the studio with me, Sean. One of our Wednesday nights. Lini says, Charlie, he's a, a pit, so folks are afraid. But he's a big baby. I have a feeling we're talking about the dog. Paul says he's taking notes. Um, so, Paul, I got that recipe from the Cheesecake Factory website. It's called the Whiskey Smash. <laughs> Sean says your signal is bad because I'm in the chat. No, it was bad before you got here, my friend. Believe me. Mr. Tranquilla was here. How are you, my friend? Um, I guess it would be, is it good evening to you? You're how many hours ahead of me? Several. At least eight, I think. Seven or eight. Um, 
we're still going through. Everybody's saying hi, hi, hi. I just want to catch up. Um, Charlie said he was big on the vodka, too. Mona did what is here. Hi, Mona. Thanks for coming in, my friend. I, just, I love that picture. And I like your, your mom's hat. It's awesome. Um, have a good evening. Love you, too, my friend. Thank you, Eileen. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Aha, David Lynn, Prepper Principal is here. How are you, David? It's good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Good afternoon to you. Um, Law says whiskey smash sounds a lot like a whiskey sour with, with a uh, citrus twist. It kind of is. Um, the Aperol, I think, is what kind of makes it a little different. Um, but it does have, um, clearly it has whiskey in it. And it is a little sour. Um, thank you, David. Same to you, my friend. All right, so we're all caught up. Lenny, thank you for sharing. Appreciate it. You are a doll, my friend. I, like I said, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, okay, so cheers again to everybody. Thank you for coming in. It's always a pleasure having you folks in uh, with us. So let's see. Goodness, that's so good. All right, how do I do this? Where is um where is Eddie? Eddie, are you still with us? Eddie Lugo? All right, how about this? We're going to um we're going to share out the uh the link for the stream. If anybody wants to come up, you're absolutely welcome. I'll see you in the green room and uh, we'll have you come up. But Eddie, if you want to come up and you want to talk about uh, your announcement that you did today, certainly love to have you come up and talk about it. Again, you're not required, but um, it's, a, it's a good platform. What is happening? How are you? Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm hearing, uh, an echo. hearing an echo. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to uh, eliminate uh, as much as possible here. So everybody knows Eddie. Everybody that's anybody knows Eddie Lugo. He is with us here tonight. And uh, it's good to see you, my friend, in the flesh. Usually I'm uh, I'm tuning in in the morning and I'm behind the wheel of my, my work car. Um, having two hands on the wheel. How's things going? All right. Uh, I don't see you though. Uh, it's all it's all dark. Really? On the uh, on the uh, panel here. We have that unless, trouble unless before. Unless I go to the uh, to your uh, uh, chat and then I see you. So you you I'm can't see me right now. And it's right now. And it's now. You can see me or you can't. Uh, I no. It's all it's all black over here. Hmm. I'm not sure why. That happened to Kenny. Kenny has come in a couple times. Do you want to try um, going out and coming back in? Yes, uh, I'll do that. Everybody else can see both of us, so... Yeah, why don't you try going out and come back in, Eddie? All right. Always the technical difficulties. And the signal here is still terrible. But um, we'll try it again. Law says he can see us both. Charlie said he could see us both. All right, let's try it again. Yeah. Can you see me now, sir? Still, uh, still a black screen. <laughs> well, but you know if, what they if, say: if black, black your, is beautiful. Uh, your regular chat, then I see you. On YouTube, I see you. In Streamyard, uh, it's all uh, black. I only see no. myself. Maybe it'll fix itself. I don't know if you yeah, want to. You can hear me anyway, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So I was looking at Facebook today and I got a um, I got a notification that you have an announcement. You want to tell us? Yes, sir. And uh, I want to thank you for the opportunity to uh, promote my uh, first ever group cruise. 
I'm calling it the uh, the secret, as in secret, Boost Cruise 2.0. Uh, it's gonna be uh, in uh, October 28, 2024. Uh, six day cruise, leaving out of Tampa, uh, going down to uh, Key West, uh, Montego Bay, and Grand Cayman, returning back to uh, Tampa. It's gonna be a six day of fun with uh, Halloween uh, right in the middle of it. So we could have some uh, great time. Uh, this, there we go, now you're back in. Hey. Now you're being very clear too. <laughs> how you doing? So, hey, how you doing? It, uh, right now, uh, you could uh, reserve your, uh, put aside your room with a $25 uh, deposit. Uh, you got till May next year to pay your full deposit on your cabin so you could get your room. And the sooner you do, you could do it, the better. And then you have till uh, July to pay off for the whole cruise. It's, it's running around, uh, starts around $4.59 uh, per person, double occupancy. And uh, cabins are moving along pretty good already. Uh, balconies are very, uh, uh, you know, not that many balconies available. So the sooner you call and reserve your room, your cabin, uh, the better opportunity you get to get one so uh, welcome everybody that wants to hang out with me it'd be great so far it's been about eight or nine cabins already taken so it's moving along pretty good and uh it finally it was finally done last night as a complete announcement uh it's been uh, on the works since uh, last week i've been thinking about this for a few months already and i finally found the person that i wanted to be with uh, doing the bookings and all that and of course it's mr bruce from ocean to ocean travel.com you go email him and uh, he will get you all set and ready to go i'm already thinking of 2025 also so let's let's do it you know the better this gets the more uh the more you know the more fun we're gonna have so i love it come in love more it. you know so it's a lot of creators already showing interest and uh it's, it's uh you know we gotta uh plan the events now to do which will be, you know, uh, the typical stuff, the bug crawl, the uh, exchange of stuff. Uh, we'll do a get together uh, the Sunday evening before the uh, Monday morning cruise, living out of Tampa. It's going to be a few more things going on too. So it's going to be great. Fantastic. Um, that's a carnival? Carnival Paradise. Carnival Paradise. It's a smaller ship, which is going to make it better because it's more, you know, more of us. Uh, uh, less people and more, um, more, uh, we'd be able to get together better. So more right on. That sounds awesome. It's like a year and a half away. I'm, yes. I'm, I can, I can barely think of October this year for the booze cruise. So <laughs> you have, you, you have a booze, another booze cruise already planned. That's right. Yep. That's right. I saw that today. So I wanted to, uh, see if you would come up tonight, which you did. And it's awesome. Um, Again, thank you for the opportunity. I of course, it. of course. Uh, it's like I say every day in our in my morning streams. It's all about uh, our community, and we need to support each other. And it takes a village, of course. That's right. And yep. we're all here for the same thing. We're here for fun and fellowship, and um, and uh, getting our message out. As long as it's a good message, I'm all about. So. That's right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm looking, I'm laughing because Sean, he's planning, uh, are you planning a, a down under group cruise? You know, January 2nd, 2025. I knew that was coming. It's, it's been, it's been asking me to, uh, to meet him for that one. I would love to do it, but it's that, that fly to get there is, is the, the hardest part, you know? Right. This is fun. It sounds like being in Australia is, is going to be great. Although Believe I, me, I he's... Don't, I don't like the water that much. Uh, <laughs> I don't like sharks. Uh, I'm not too friendly with sharks. But, uh, I mean, I would love to go there, but it's just the amount of money you got to pay to get there is the thing, you know? Yeah, he's been <laughs> trying to work on Colleen and I to come down too, and I would love to, but, I mean, it's 14 days minimum. And then the flying, it'd be at least 16 days for us. I could not take all that time off from work, you know, yeah, based upon the, the yeah, business that I'm in, um, mm -hmm. which I I guess they need me at work. So, yeah, 
I want to say hi to um, to Mike. Mike Clock is here from Clock Family Adventures. How are you, Mike? Um, Blaine. Blaine is here from Rally Creative. Hey, hey. Um, I have to tell Blaine. So um, my video that we did uh, a few months ago in um, in Disney Springs, uh, I did go to the gelato place and I asked them about spaghetti ice. So I talk about that in the video. So you'll have to, when, I'm probably going to premiere it this weekend, um, Friday night or Saturday. So um, I give Blaine a shout out in there because he's the one that asked me to go to the gelato place. So I went and I talked to them about it. So you guys will have to tune in. But um, that was, it's a good video. It's uh, my folks are with me, my parents. We walked around and then um, we looked at some shops and then we end the video with us at uh, Raglan Road, the Irish pub there. So it's a lot of fun. So we'll premiere that this weekend. Where did Stephen go? Come back, Stephen. Stephen Sheets was, he was uh, in the green room. I was just about to bring him up and he disappeared. Come on back. I like uh, I like what Blaine says here. You could you could you would be better off catching a U.S. cruise to get there and do side by side, which is yeah, yeah that would be cool, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. I wonder how long it would take on a cruise ship to get there. Probably three or four days anyway. Maybe more than that. I have no sense of time when it comes to that stuff. As we can they say not yet. <laughs> Enjoy your evening as well, Charlie. Thank you for coming in. Um, we'll see you tomorrow um, at Dan's, I, I hope. Um, Law says, uh, like a repositioning cruise, wouldn't that add about 10 days? Probably. I think you're right, Law. Yeah, it could, yeah. Definitely. I went and I asked about spaghetti ice last week, and they said not yet. Was that? Yeah, because you were in Disney Springs, right, Blaine? Yeah, so that's basically what they told me. They said it's a seasonal thing that they offer, but um, clearly they didn't have it. So I still won't be able to get um, spaghetti ice. I've never had it. Z is in the house. Hi, Z. How are you, my friend? Yeah, we do. We have an echo. I noticed that you guys had an echo. You had an echo earlier, right? I, I believe so. You say you heard an echo. I got everything shut down. The only thing I got open now is StreamYard. Yeah, I don't have um, all of my volumes are down here, so I don't know. He couldn't see me either, so maybe it has something to do with my poor signal. But um, well, if you guys morning, can deal I, with it, we'll went, deal with it. When I went live this morning, hey, Mr. Tranquilo, when I went live this morning, uh, my mic wasn't working. And uh, uh, I tried to unmute it, and then the it was stopping the camera also. So I had to completely get out of the uh, uh, laptop, shut it down, turn it back on, and then it was working. So I have no idea what happened this morning either. Um, your, uh, your mic volume is really low. Some people were commenting on that as well. <laughs> what is he? FedEx? I think it said he's drinking those quickies. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. Um, what is it? What do you have? What do you got there, Eddie? My wife just threw me a, a cheese. Oh, they're awesome! I love cheese sticks. They're my favorite. Or string cheese, right? They call it something like that. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, let's see. So, you gonna be up tomorrow morning, seven fifteen ish? Perfect. Let's see. Um, anybody else want to come up? You guys are welcome to come on up. Let me um, repost that link. I don't know where Stephen Cheats went. Stephen, if you're here, come back, my friend. Everybody's welcome as long as uh, as long as you're not a troll. Come on in. Hi, Jimmy. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Doing good. <laughs> you're, feeding your, you're, you're feeding your man some cheese. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. How, Eddie, how have you been feeling? How's things going? I've been doing pretty good. Um, 
standing is getting a little hard. Uh, left knee is beginning to hurt more. My left hip is getting there too. Whatever I have back here is getting better. But um, emotionally and mentally, I'm good. Good. Keep him busy. So. Well, especially through health issues and that, PMA always works. So you hear me talk about it every day. Um, positive mental attitude gets it gets me through a lot. So let's see who. When something doesn't work, I just go F this and move on. That's it. You know the what is it? Uh, what do they say? Don't don't sweat the small stuff, and it's all small stuff. That's right. Yep. And um, there's things that we really don't have much control over, and why worry about them if you can't control it? So. Do your best and you move on. Um, Definitely. So he says he's going to get, um, I got to get ready for prime time. Right on. Law says he got lost in the matrix. <laughs> and Jen knows what we're talking about. We did a, we did almost a whole live stream. When was that? Was it last week or maybe Monday? I got real deep. I started talking about um, uh, healing frequencies and positive frequencies and things like that. Um, so, yeah, so it all comes down to positive stuff and, and positive uh, thinking and the power of your own mind. I mean, it, it works, but we won't get too deep tonight. It's hump day. So um, I had the best photo ever right here next to me. So Of course. You know what? Us, us men, we couldn't do without our our partners. You know, um, I know I have um, I have a good one, and um, I couldn't uh, I couldn't definitely I I don't know if I'd be here in the condition I'm in right now without her. So, but keep us on the straight and narrow. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. So, you do you have any new videos coming out? You got anything you're working on? I, I I put a uh, uh, two today, one yesterday, or two yesterday and two today, uh, two shorts with my cats, and I did uh, news on carnival rumors yesterday, and I did another video today on Silver Sea with their new uh, ship coming out on on Papenburg, uh, Germany, floating out the uh, Silver Sea uh, Nova, their newest ship, uh, uh, which is gonna be doing trials, uh, sea trials very soon, and then uh, be uh, hopping out to do to start doing some business. Right on. So they, so they, they, they do a shakedown cruise? cruise? Is that is that what you're talking about? When the, uh, they do trials? Or? Uh, yeah, the ship could make sure it's floating the right way, and then eventually brings it out to, to the ocean to do the trials to make sure that uh, everything is uh, working. You know, all the, uh, all the uh, electronics, everything in it that is working fine and the uh, engines and all that are prepared. They got to burn those engines to make them, uh, you know, comfortable for the ship to be uh, you know, ready to go. So they must have like just a skeleton crew, I bet, on board of yeah, those yeah, ships, yeah. right? A lot of engineers and uh, the big bosses, you know, hanging out and the captain will be there too to make sure things are running the way it should, you know, to prepare and do uh, fire drills do the uh, master drill, do all that stuff, get it, get it ready. Perfect. Yes, yes. I often wondered how, you know, when they, after they build a ship, what they put it through in order to get it ready for us folks to get on board. They must go through a lot, and um, I'm sure there's a lot of rules and regulations to make sure that the, the vessel is safe for all of us to get on and have a good time. The signage and everything be in the language that is required. Uh, the crews prepare for it. Uh, you know, all the uh, clicks are taken care of. So, yes. <laughs> Blaine says, does, does Captain yeah, Billy get on these trials? No wonder they have issues. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why some of those ships don't go along very well, because he needs to be replaced. <laughs> Bring a real that's... captain in. That's awesome. Yeah, we let the real captain do the real work. Yeah, he's just stand in. <laughs> we were, um, we were, uh, Sean and I were teasing Billy last week because I'm a chief. 
And oh, in, in the scheme of things, I outrank him. Yeah, he didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I call on Lieutenant just to get him going. Right? Cappy. Come here. Well, he gives it back. So and sometimes he starts it. So you have to give it back to him. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Mm hmm no, but Billy's a Billy's a great guy. I met him last summer. We I met him. He was here in New Hampshire, actually. We went out for dinner one night, and uh, he's a great guy. He's a lot of fun. Um, and I am looking forward to meeting you folks. It won't be until October this year, but um, and the rest of you uh, in the chat that are going on the booze cruise with us. I know um, I've been talking with Mike from Clock Family Adventures. And I think we're gonna um, fly in Friday before the cruise and spend a couple of days in New Orleans. Yes. And uh, we're gonna maybe do a ghost tour in one of the cemeteries. Um, and um, just hang out, have some of the food in the city. Um, spicy stuff down there. Yeah, yeah. We we were there. Oh, 2020 was the last cruise I went on, and it, and it sailed out of New Orleans. Um, which one was that? That was the Liberty, I think. I think it was anyway, but um, we had spent a couple of days there after the cruise and I had never been to New Orleans and what a fun town. And we don't stay up late. We're not out on Bourbon Street partying with people or whatever. We did go to a couple of places during the day or in the afternoon, but it's just full of history and, and, um, which, you know, if you've been in any of my live streams, you know I talk about being a history buff. And there's old buildings there, and um, there's the World War II Museum is there. A lot of fun. So it's, it's a fun city. I work in the uh, city of Metairie uh, back in uh, like a year. I will say about... 2003, 2004, before uh, 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 Hurricane Katrina. That's the last okay. time I was in New Orleans until the bloggers that uh, we went back. But but I haven't been to the city in so long, and you know because of uh, all the destruction and, and everything that happened, and it's eventually you know coming, it, it has returned back to it. So it looked, it, it did look different to me uh, when we went back in uh, back in uh, January. But at the same time, it was like the same vibe, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty neat. I mean, I'd never been there, so I don't, I, I had no memory to compare it to. But there was no damage. There was no debris that I could see. They were still talking about it, of course. And I mean, they got hit hard. I mean, those, I would liken it to, we were just in Fort Myers in March. And they're still recovering. The buildings are a mess, and there's piles of debris everywhere and dead trees, and they really got nailed. I mean, that it just shows you the power of Mother Nature. It's crazy. Mike says, a cool, I need to get a count of who is definitely going on tour. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. I know that Colleen and I will definitely be in. Um, I'm, we're actually going to be traveling with... Um, Colleen's sisters, so I think I got my hands full with Colleen. I got three sister-in-laws that are going to be coming too, so so they'll be on the group cruise with us. Um, so you'll get to meet them as well, and uh, they're a lot of fun, though. They're... In, in, in other words, we could kind of take you away from the crowd if you need to get away. Believe me, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Colleen, I'm I'm gonna go with Mike and and Eddie for a little while. Um, yeah, help us with something. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a box of pineapples down there. I need to. Help with. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to meeting you all of you guys. Actually, well, I mean we've met each other, but you know what I mean. In the flesh. That's right. Um, Jorge is here. Hi, Jorge. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Flame says prayer for you, Jimmy. This will determine how strong your marriage is. You got that right, my friend. Um, I think that's already been determined. Colleen and I have been married this year. It'll be um, 35 years we've been married. 
Nice. So. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Um, we've been together a long time. We met in high school. Are they going on to go on the tour? I will let you know. I'm, I don't know for sure. Um, I know that Colleen and I are definitely in to do the ghost tour. Um, but um, I will let you know. We'll talk to the girls soon. Colleen's actually working with uh, two of them tonight, so her sister owns a, a furniture and home decor store. And Colleen is the general manager there, so... Wednesday nights, they do a live stream on Facebook and on Shopify. Of course, they're in sales, so they're trying to to boost their sales. So, um, kind of the reason why I do. What's that? Are you flying down or driving? No, we're gonna fly. Okay. It would be a long drive for us to come down, I think. Oh yeah. Um, a lot quicker for us to fly. So I think we're going to fly in, like I said, Friday. I'm going to try to get an early flight as early as I can Friday morning. That way we can have Friday and, and Saturday. And then get to the cruise port on Sunday morning and begin the cruise fun. That's right. This will be my... Saturday afternoon. Okay. This will be my third cruise ever. So I'm looking forward to it. Nice. Okay. Um, Jen is asking, uh, or saying, I'm always surprised by how tall, short people are in person, right? I know most of you see us like this. We're like just a bust. My mom says 66 for us. They've been married that long. Wow. Is that that's this year, mom, right? In June? I wasn't at their wedding. <laughs> I hear my wife and I have been 16 years once November 10th gets here. What's the key? She is always right. Exactly, Blaine. All you got to do is keep saying, yes, dear. You're right, honey. Eddie is about four to five. Flipping. Flip those numbers around. I'm assuming he's saying tall. Yeah, yeah. Five two. Five two. I'm five four. Even even that is uh, says I'm five two. Even, well, even we all we, says I'm shorter. We I'm we hit a plateau, plateau and then we start to shrink. I used to be five nine and I went to the doctor the other day, and they said I was five eight. And I said, wait a minute, I've lost an inch already. Yeah. Yep. Scott says he's been 27 years with his wife. Congrats, Scott. You know, when we can, we know we found the right woman when we can get one that stands, uh, can stand our antics for all that amount of time. So tell me about it. June 3rd will be 17 years married. 17. I think you get over the five year hump or the, they say seven year, right? But. 17, that's awesome. You guys, are, it's forever. Uh, Mike says, uh, he must have been standing on a box when you see him. <laughs> What's going on? Captain Billy's not even here. <laughs> Usually it's him picking on you. Don't worry. I, I know why Clark is doing it. I'm always picking on him, so... Oh, well, that's you know, okay. And I always win. <laughs> um, Jen <laughs> says 33 years for her. Good for you, Jen. Congrats. I'm talking about Clark. Steven said, I'll stop by next time when you go live again. All right, Steven, you're always welcome, my friend. Always. Um, if you haven't been over to Steven, um, he's a country singer. And uh, he does videos of him singing some really good country songs. And he's really good. And I consider myself, I'm not going to be an expert, but I think I know a, a good musician from a bad one. <laughs> so this is when I said I wasn't at the wedding. Not even a twinkle in my father's eye. I hope not. I don't want to go there. Mom, cut it out, Mom. 
<laughs> Scott says, and I think we've talked about this. He said he was homeless when he met his wife. How cool is that? Not that you were homeless, but you met her and things turned around for you. It's fantastic. Cheaper to keep them once you hit five years or more, right? <laughs> yeah, you must figure, right? After after five years, they're used to all your crazy habits and how you scratch yourself and how you eat or brush your teeth, all the goofy stuff. Sean says, Lana can't wait to get rid of me. That's why she sends me to bed early. Are you kidding me? You go to bed early because you're old. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right? Bam. He there goes to Sean. bed early because, look, he, well, he's older than us, so he's an old man. That's right. Muscle tough. You know I love you, Sean. So let's see. What are we going to be doing this summer? We're going to be... So we have an RV. I've talked about it before. We're going to be doing. <laughs> Blaine says, "Wow, low blow." It's all right. He'll get me back. You know he will. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have the RV. We'll be doing that. We're planning. Um, we don't really have anything planned yet, except until the fall. Whole month of whole month of September, we're going to be on the road. Um, and then the first of October, and then we go on the booze cruise. So we're looking at doing some stuff starting probably in may um well we're in may so the end of the month or first of june uh we have we live close to maine in massachusetts so we usually stay local and we do <laughs> i love you too sean you know i do my brother um <laughs> It's Uncle Sean to you. Yes, Rabbi. October 2nd, meet up in Pigeon Forge as we are taking our RV, so come on. I think I'm going to be in Maine that weekend. We're going to Old Orchard Beach. But I will look into it. I, and by the way, I like Pigeon Forge. Have you ever been? Have you guys been? It's awesome. awesome. Gatlinburg, Gatlinburg is right near there, there as well. well we've, been, we've been to Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, Pigeon so Forge, Forge isn't far is away from, from there. there. And, and um, he has a sister that lives in Tennessee nearby. Um, Dollywood is in Pigeon Forge, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, we've, um, we've spent some time in Knoxville. And um, when we were there, we went over to Pigeon Forge and through Gatlinburg and the beautiful mountains. It's really pretty place so i'm hoping um, to go there in november you're going somebody, in november yeah somebody here in the chat i'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say his name but he, he rhymes with uh, cookie um we're gonna <laughs> he's gonna be there a whole week with his family and hopefully in that weekend uh we could meet them up there in uh in tennessee because he's gonna be in the area and i'm bringing alice with me for the saturday and sunday Awesome. That's in November? Yes. November. Right on. I believe it is, Mike. Remember <laughs> November 8 or 11, something like that? He's going up is that when you're going, family. Mike? Yeah, he's coming down with his family. I will be in Vegas or I will come. Oh, man, I'm going to Pigeon Forge in November. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So, yeah. That Got week, it. Uh, they're going to be there. I'm hoping to meet them there on the weekend. Very cool. Yeah. Um, Blaine says he has a friend in Old Orchard Beach. What a freaking, what a freaking nice area! It's um, it's awesome. Um, Maine, Maine is a nice state anyway. It's when you get in the tri-state area, which tri-state is Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. They they all pretty much look the same. We're full of mountains here. Um, New Hampshire and Maine have coastline right on the Atlantic Ocean, Massachusetts as well. Um, but um, Maine has the most coastline and it's a beautiful state, uh, it really is. There's a lot of mountains, a lot of lakes there. Same with New Hampshire. 
And I'm always boasting we have the best seafood in the world here in New England. Um, Old Orchard Beach is fun right there on the ocean. We actually did a video last summer. Uh, we spent the day there. Um, and it's, you know, it's touristy, but it's, it's fun. They have amusement rides there and there's a big pier that you can go out and have lunch on. And it's just, just a lot of fun. Vicky is here from Hope Bus. Hi, Vicky. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Adventures with Outdoor Eagle is here. Just done with a 15 hour work day now listening in my Jeep and on my way home. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming in and listening. Remember, two hands on the wheel now. Drive safe. And then we saw this, Mike. Uh, I'll be in Vegas, or I would come, Blaine. I'm going to Pigeon Forge in November, so we just talked about that. Um, Seaver, whoop, Seaverville exit, which is Pigeon Forge exit, opens their Bucky's next month. That's one place I haven't been to is a Bucky's. Have you, Eddie? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hear they're big. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And bring some money. For your bring some money? Yes. At least a minimum of 75 bucks you're going to spend. Really? Yes. Guaranteed. I heard the food's good there. Yes. That brisket is awesome. I got the uh, extra, extra large uh, brisket. Was about thirteen bucks for it. Then I got a couple of cokes. We end up buying a, 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 a shot glass. I got me. I got self a tumbler. Uh, we got some sodas, some uh, beaver nuggets. Those are the the, the hit in that place. Uh, in beaver day, nuggets. One hundred fifty bucks I spend that day. Well, what's a beaver it's nugget? It's not what I think it is. Uh, no, it's, it's <laughs> they're like. Uh, uh, the shape of uh, Cheetos, puff Cheetos, and they're a little smaller and they're sweet. They have different flavors. Uh, I didn't like them because they were too sweet for me, but Alice loved them. Takes we, a little to get used to them, but. Yeah, we got two bags and she went through them like, nice. boom. Well, you know what I mean. It took a few days, but uh, she polished them. So. Like, like Bucky's Bucky. crack. Yes, yes. Sounds good. Yeah, I want to. Um, I look forward to finding my first Bucky's, and we don't have them in this part of the country, so I have to drive south. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tranquilo, I like to hike near the lake and mountains. Sounds so good. Yeah, you if you like that, you'll like New Hampshire and Maine. Um, we have plenty of lakes and mountains here. Um, one of the tallest mountains on the East Coast is right here in New Hampshire, Mount Washington. It's 6,300 plus feet. And uh, I guess the highest winds ever recorded on Earth were recorded at the top of Mount Washington. Like 200 and something miles an hour. Um, Mike says, I'm staying at the Great Smoky Mountains Lodge in Seaverville, so I'll be going there. Sean says, we are going to Morwell on the weekend. Not that you know where that is. <laughs> Oh, what are you kidding me? I was I was just there last week. Best seafood until you have it here in Savannah or Hilton Head. Yeah, no, I don't think so. There's nothing I've I've had seafood all over this country, and honestly, there's nothing compares to to um, the New England seafood. The cold Atlantic water is what does it. Um. I've had some good food, though, down south. Shrimp is good. The crabs are good. Um, there's certain fish that's very good. Um, but I would argue with anybody that, uh, for the most part, the seafood here is, is better than anywhere. Uh, let's see. Right down the road. The one in Seaville is going to be world's largest at 77,000 square feet. 250 foot car wash and 120 gas pumps. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. That's a big Bucky's. Yes. Vicky says that she's great. Just got the 10 baby chicks. The other three are growing so Yeah, they they do grow quick. We have a little chick condo inside the house. <laughs> Good for you. That's awesome. 
we're we're, we're considering, considering getting, getting chickens, chickens again. again. Don't worry, eggs are coming down. Outdoor Eagle, Eagle says we don't have, have those in Jersey. Jersey. No, no, and you're, you're not, not far, far from, from me. me. I mean, as as, as you know, the area goes, goes, you're probably Jersey's only about four and a half, five hours from here. So, so Jersey has a lot of wawas. Wawas? wawas? Is, yes. What is that? Is that another a get, another gas a, station setup? Okay. It doesn't have that many gas stations. You know, yeah, because you're like you're from New York, York right? right? Yeah, Brooklyn. That's a big one. That is a big one for sure. Yeah. Uh... You're gonna add it to your list, Mr. Tranquilo. If you um, if you see it, come come on in. Is weed legal where you are, Jimmy? Not yet. Massachusetts, it's legal. Maine, it's legal. Vermont, it may be. New Hampshire just passed the bill through the House. It went through the House that passed for um, uh, recreational marijuana, but it still has to go through the Senate. And there's talk that even if it does pass, the governor will veto it. I don't know, but it seems crazy that we're surrounded by these states that are reaping the benefit. I look at it as a money thing. And... Um, you know, Colorado, they when they pass their bill, the money goes to the schools there, and they save millions every year from the sale of marijuana to um, help. Well, that's what they say, to subsidize the schools. So who knows where it's really going, right, Eddie? That's right. Yeah. Um, let's see. Mike says, every state that does seafood says theirs is the best. I'm from Maryland, so mine is the best. Maryland crabs are good. Yes, that's that's what I will say about Maryland. The crabs. The crabs are fantastic. Lobster, New England. Right, Eddie? So, yeah. yeah. See, Eddie's a New York boy, and he gets the lobsters there from New England lobsters. Had them down in Miami, and I still choose New England. Go go to Florida and eat what they call a lobster, and then try to compare it to a New England lobster. There's just no comparison. John is here. Hi, John. Home hey, bar John. with John. I missed the cocktail, but I'll catch the replay. Oh, look, your grandson's more important, my friend. We we can always drink and make drinks, but the grandkids are the most important thing. This is um what's left of it. <laughs> That's the whiskey smash. And I smashed it. Very good, actually. Um... Blaine says, I haven't had, had it up north, but I wouldn't doubt that Maine is better because of the waters. And and really, I mean, all all kidding aside, I think it has something to do with the cold water here. Um, they have thick, hard shells, those lobsters. And um, they do molt, believe it or not. They're like a snake, or they'll peel off their skin, and then, or not skin, but the shell, and then they, they grow a harder one. So you can get soft shells. They're still delicious, but when their shells are hard, there's just something about them. It's very good. Maryland is known for its crab cakes. Yep. And and the crabs. What are they? They. They're not blue crabs, are they? Uh, red. I think they are. That's what. Yeah. A lot of red all over the place. Every once in a while, I would go to Emmitsburg. Maryland, which is um, where the National Fire Academy is, and we would there's a place called Dave and Jane's Crab House, and um, they they boil up all these crabs. It seems like hundreds of them, and they you you eat at a table. It's like family style, and they cover it with like brown paper, and then they just dump the crabs out onto the table, and then you get a little hammer and you crack it and eat away. It's very good. I don't touch it. No, you, you don't, don't eat, eat the crab? crab? No. I'll take a lobster anytime or, uh, or a fish. But, uh, <laughs> Vicky says, I only ask about the weed because nothing beats weed with seafood. Oh. Right? Munchies. Munchies right after. Of course. Um, let's see. The only issue I have is that you smell it everywhere. It stinks. Yeah. Especially um, when you drive by the ocean at low tide, you can smell low tide. It's 
not the most pleasant smell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even touching that one. Oh, that's awesome. Come on, Blaine. I love that, Blaine. Uh, Mike says, as far as I'm concerned, no seafood in Florida is good. They have a lot of places that say Maryland crab cakes and New England clam chowder. It's never the same. I'm with you. I'm with you, Mike. It's not. Yes, blue crabs in Maryland. Okay. Um, she crab soup sounds good right now or lobster bisque. Um, there's a restaurant in the town that I work in and they make a seafood chowder and it has it has shrimp scallops and that's how you say it scallops yeah um haddock and lobster with potatoes and onions and a like a creamy uh liquid i guess for lack of a better term um it's so good they do a great job my mother says no taste lobsters here in Florida. No, they don't taste good, Mom. Crab should be steamed, not boiled. Maybe they do steam them, Mike. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure how. Um, we do boil the lobsters here. Yes. Um, also, steamed clams. If you like clams, um, the clams here are fantastic. I was talking about weed, right? That's right. <laughs> oh. You smell enough weed on the cruise ships for a contact high. I, I saw someone get arrested on the last cruise we were on, and I'm not sure exactly why, but I think it was because of weed. They don't, uh, they don't go for that on the ships. Have you guys ever had a Morton Bay bug? I haven't. Is that like a lobster, Sean? I don't know, but the name doesn't sound uh, interesting. I can eat any seafood, but not oysters. It's not by choice. It's a reflex. Oh, I see. Um, I had a dozen oysters Saturday on the half shell. They were, uh, where'd they come from? They weren't, were they from Maine? They may, I think they were from Maine. My mother says I miss the smell, right, Mom? There is something about it. You know, your you know your home when you go by the ocean. Jimmy, do not like when someone says scallops. Yeah, they're not scallops. There's two L's there. It's scallops. Scallop, scallops. Um, let's see. My mother says stop it. I'm talking about the seafood, and she's born and bred New England, so. They don't get that food in Florida. Yeah, I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> right? right? Me too. <laughs> I think Morton is from from Indian and Pacific Oceans. Could be. I keep, I keep seeing the word more more Morton, and I keep thinking of Moldor in uh, Lords of the Rings. <laughs> right? <laughs> Mordor. Have you had a Mordor bug? <laughs> Uh, I bet it's not very good. I think that's where Sean's from, anyway. From uh, from Mordor. He's, uh, middle Middle Earth. <laughs> he's already New Zealand as it is. You know? <laughs> oh man! So you're you're gonna be up tomorrow morning, right after me. Yes, sir. Um, now you always say seven thirty, but what what's the deal with like? Uh, well, I have it scheduled for seven fifteen. And as soon as I'm ready and up, I turn the laptop on. I see people on the uh, chat already, so I go in. Perfect. So I, don't, I don't wait till uh, the time. I'm, I'm not judging. Okay. I'm just asking. Yeah. Scott I says it's, it's a, a flathead, flathead lobster. lobster. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Still yeah. haven't heard of it. I'll have to check it out. All right, so I'm going to get out of here. i got to have some dinner. But... Um, don't forget to um, go to Eddie's um, Facebook page and check out about the cruise, his group cruise in 2004, October, uh, sailing out of Tampa. And um, we'll do a little business here real quick. 
If you, um, if you don't mind, you can, um, don't forget to like, share out the stream and subscribe. Of course, all of that helps us out. If you're interested in supporting the channel and you want to buy some swag, go ahead to the, uh, our spring store and check, uh, check us out. Um, since Sean is in the house, let's talk about helpinghandsforcruising.org. They're always looking for donations and I know that they're looking for their next recipient. So if you know uh, of anybody that you think would be deserving enough to, um, to get a, a dream cruise of a lifetime, go over to the helpinghandsforcruising.org um, website and you can find out how to do that. And the last thing is, is if you want to support us, you can always give us a super chat, a super sticker. You can uh, give us a thanks on each video, but the best way to do it is to send us a PayPal. Um, any little bit helps us out and it supports the channel. We support other channels by buying their swag. We definitely donate to charities. Um, I use it for uh, postage when we mail out stickers and now and then we do giveaways and um, the last one cost me a good amount of money to giveaways because I did send some internationally, which Okay, it is what it is. Um, if anybody's interested in getting a sticker, these are free. Um, go over to the astute sticker at gmail.com, um, the astute tourist at gmail.com, and uh, send me your address, and I'll be happy to drop a sticker or two in the mail for you. So don't forget Positive Mental Attitude, PMA. It'll save your day. Uh, go throughout your day and be positive. Change somebody's, uh, make a difference in somebody's world. All you have to do is smile at them, say a nice, uh, say a nice comment to them. Um, you never know what someone's going through. You don't know what story they have. So uh, you could change somebody's day just by saying hello or you have, I like your hat or something like that. A nice kind word goes a long way. Um, don't forget to think about our men and women of the armed services, no matter what country you're from. We have those folks there on the wall every day, saving us, um, protecting our liberties and our freedoms and protecting uh, our safety. Um, they're there 24 seven. The same goes for our first responders. I work with 24 of the greatest uh, men and women on the planet. And um, there's uh, thousands more like them in this country. Um, they're in every town and every state. So, and those folks are there 24 seven as well. And they put their safety on the line to protect us. Doesn't matter what country you're from. Um, Eddie and I are from the USA. That's our flag right there. And love and respect that flag. Um, never take it for granted. It's worth more than that cloth that's printed on. A lot of folks have given their, um, or made the ultimate sacrifice to protect that. Our freedoms and our liberties so that we can do what we're doing right now. Having a good time, having a hump day cocktail and smiling and laughing with each other, so. I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. sharp. And um, Eddie will be right up after me, um, a little bit after 7 o'clock. So we'll go over and give him a, a, a nice, um, hearty, uh, astute raid. And um, you can check out at PSV Odyssey for the full schedule for the folks that will be up tomorrow throughout the day. So, Eddie, you got anything else you want to say? Well, and uh, I also be uh, uh, alive, uh, on another live at noon tomorrow. So there you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate everybody coming in, Eddie. I appreciate you and your wife for coming in. I appreciate everybody in the chat. You know, I say this uh, during every stream. I do love and appreciate you guys, and I mean that. So, I guess with that said, thank you for coming in. Um, I want to wish everybody peace and love from deep down in my heart. My name is Jimmy. I'm your Stu Taurus. Thank you guys for coming in. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.